Hello everyone, this is Martin. Welcome back to another uh, weekly video. I'm going to share with you my best winning trade ideas for this coming week, December the 3rd to the 7th. And uh, we are now approaching the Christmas holiday season. So hopefully you're still trading. I mean, I normally do trade uh, for a couple more weeks before knocking off for the Christmas holidays. But, uh, you know, there's still some good volatility. The markets are still moving. So there's still good opportunity to make money trading Forex. And we're going to be taking a look at the currency pairs in just a moment. Okay, last week um, there was an opportunity to make a little bit over 270 pips. The markets were mainly sideways. There wasn't a lot of uh, movement. Uh, most of the pairs did just give us uh, a few pips here and there, but uh, um, and there were only uh, one or two currency pairs that gave us a little bit more. We'll review those in in uh, a short while and. Um, uh, and the other thing is, I just want to mention that uh, this will be my second last video for this coming year. I mean, for this current year, I should say. So it's uh, it's my second last video for 2018. Uh, and uh, next week, we'll have another video. Pro probably we'll change the format. And I'm going to offer you the chance to win some really terrific prizes, including... Uh, uh, um, a prize uh, for the free course I'm going to be offering. So the course is uh, one of the prizes. Uh, if you want to learn how to trade Forex, uh, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, and uh, just watch my next week's video for a chance to win some uh, uh, free courses on trading Forex. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the uh, uh, disclaimer. Okay, as always, my risk disclaimer, I want to mention two important things. I produce these videos on a weekly basis for educational purposes. I want you to understand that. And uh, so view the videos at your own risk. And finally, never trade or never try to risk more than 1% or 2% of your total account balance on any one single trade. So just keep that in mind. Money management is the key if you want to stay alive in the forex business okay okay here we are with the very first pair we're going to review for this week let's look for winning trade ideas this is the euro usd daily okay it's important to understand that each and every candle you see here is a uh, one day's worth of price movement and you can see on friday here now this th these last five candles one two three four five uh, to the right side of this red vertical line is what happened last week in price action. And you can see price came down, bounced higher on the Wednesday with this huge white momentum candle. And then we had another huge momentum candle to the downside. So you can see some pretty good volatility. And here it looks like price may come down a little bit lower and then possibly bounce higher or go sideways. So we're in a sideways market. What we're saying or what I'm saying is the Euro USD is sideways right now. Wait for a breakout either to the upside or to the downside. And um, uh, if uh, if I'm thinking that price will go lower, I would I would be looking for sell trades right here below 112.64. Um, for buy trades, I'm looking for price to go above 114.11. Okay, so right now we are in a downtrend. Pink below blue. These are my easy read charts. Really simple to understand. And uh, just like here, right here was a great uh, uh, signal to get in lower. You would have made pips from here to, to here. And again, uh, take a look right there. You would have gotten in here, down to here for some pretty good pips. So again, we're making another run down and uh, waiting to see what happens. Okay, so uh, that's uh, that's for the Euro USD. Let me take that off and let's continue to the next chart. Now we get to the British pound. I've drawn in in the upper trend line. Okay, so you can see price basically has come up, down, up, down, up. Every time it comes up, it's retesting. Uh, but right now, the sellers seem to be in control, although we seem to hit a support level right here. So there's one bounce, 
two bounces, two bounces right there. And uh, we're looking for ourselves below below 127.28 okay so this is a it's an aggressive sell uh keep keep in mind that if price does break below 127.28 we have a previous swing low here and then also this support zone so the uh, price may only may only go down a bit lower and then bounce higher again okay so that's what could happen um the conservative trader if you're a very conservative trader and you want to wait for better clues wait for price to go below 126.48 and to the upside above this level right here okay so right now we're in a down trending pattern okay price is still sideways okay let's move on to the next pair and we've got the Australian USD now you can see what's going on over here okay let me draw in here so you can see we're kind of in a uh, uh, bullish kind of channel price is just bouncing higher lower higher lower okay and again from here price could come down a bit lower retest and go higher again okay um, so I would be looking myself for uh, for um, a buy signal or, or buy trade above 0 0.7334 to the upside to the downside price would have to clear this area right here i would be looking for sells below 0 0.7213 okay now we move on to gold and gold is often tied into how well the australian dollar is doing gold is a commodity and australia is commodity driven so let me just take that off the charts and let's go to gold okay so you can see gold again here is kind of in a sideways uh, pattern we uh, came down low here okay so price came down bounced higher uh, higher now lower higher again so again you can see we're consolidating within this triangle this is my lower trend line upper trend line and price is sideways so we're waiting for a breakout either to the upside or to the downside okay price seems to be slow after hitting rock bottom right here take a look to your left uh, that's as low as uh, low for the uh, year for gold uh, so price seems to be slowly edging higher however we've hit a major resistance right here again look to the left and so if you're really a cautious trader you would wait for price to well not only break here but break above this level this is resistance and for the downside you'd wait for price to break this area right here okay so let's move on to new zealand usd um take a look here okay a question to you traders out there i know a lot of you are pretty intelligent and uh you're learning on your own and you're also learning from me but first of all we have green above blue you can see so we're in a um up trending pattern when you have green above blue this this tells you for sure that we're in an uptrending pattern and so price went up down up down and what do we have here what uh, this is uh, showing and indicating that the New Zealand currency by itself is probably one of the stronger currencies out there right now okay it's making a very good uptrending pattern again how do we determine an uptrend okay we'll take a look here take a look here okay take a look here and take a look here and here and here so up down up down up down stair step pattern okay uh and this is the sign when price is making higher highs to the previous high and higher lows higher lows to the previous low like as in a step then we are in an uptrending fashion that's one of the um, definitions of uptrend if you want to know uh, let me take that off for a second you can also see the steps here you see the steps right there okay uh, that's in my green color zone so that is um, that's a really healthy uptrending pattern for the New Zealand currency and I do see price going higher uh, so I'd be looking at buys above 0 0.6887 however aggressively if price comes down look for a bounce down then up 
and after the bounce after the bounce higher an aggressive trader would be looking for a buy above 0 68.61 just to see about getting in earlier okay and then to the downside if price comes down all the way down here I would be looking at sells below 0 67.76 okay so right now um price is kind of hitting uh, this resistance area it has broken this um dashed 200 sma line you see that right here it's a strong uh, it acted as strong resistance okay broke through let me just take that off price did finally break through this resistance of the 200 sma which is a very powerful moving average guys and it looks like price is going to go higher okay so next one let's take a look what's after new zealand usd well how about the us cad now obviously after the fact you can see that price went up down up down up down up down up down slightly right there and then um sideways a bit last week you know not too much movement but what do we have here again guys okay now remember i just talked to you about this in the last currency pair we were looking at the new zealand usd so what do we have here okay see we're making higher highs higher highs and we're making lower lower low uh, i'm sorry higher lows so higher low higher low to the previous low higher low higher low so again very very um easy uh setup to see here uh look you know the the aggressive traders look to buy every time price comes down we have green above blue so that should give you the confidence that price is going to go higher and um the canadian dollar is a weak currency right now the u.s dollar is a, a stronger currency and i would only expect price to go higher at some point very soon uh in a breakout up to this area right there so i would be looking at buys above 133.24 and to the downside i would only be looking at sells if price came down all the way here and then i'd be looking for a sell below 132 uh, 132.34 okay so that takes care of that pair and now we move on to oil and oil is a commodity and and one of the reasons the Canadian dollar has been really weak is because well what did we see here this is oil remember that here's the daily chart and you can see huge uh, down moves to, with the black candles black candles so clearly clearly who's in control here buyers or sellers right well sellers of course black is bearish sellers control the uh the bears another big black candle here we're a bit of a sideways right now okay and i expect price to come down even further here's the first target area right here i've drawn it with i uh, drawn in the uh, rectangle okay so uh price may come down here then bounce higher again and maybe go sideways again but uh, we could be nearing the bottom here with oil and price at some point will go higher you would have to look above this area right here um and i would be looking at buys above this this level right here okay so that is oil let me take that off and clean up the chart u.s swiss franc okay first of all really noticeable you can see we have a reversal as price now started getting stronger okay why do i say um reversal well, let's go back down to here see right here price came down made a low price started to go up uh up look for the first pullback this white candle get in right there that would have been a great opportunity for a longer term trend move it would have made a lot of pips there guys a lot of pips so price is right now coming back down but when you still when you see green above blue with my easy read charts this is just a pullback that's a pullback that's not a reversal the re reversal would happen if price went down below here so price would have to come down lower before uh um, first of all lower below here and then below here before you could even confirm that there was a re reversal happening but right now price is sideways let me just take that off you can see price is 
kind of sideways and we're looking for a breakout either to the upside or to the downside us swiss franc i would be comfortable looking at buys above 10013 to the upside and to the downside below uh, 09896 okay so right now we're in a bit of a sideways pattern take a look below uh, these are in lower indicators that tell you a little bit more about what's going on in the market. You don't trade off these indicators, but it does give you information that's very valuable. So you can see this line right here, the red and blue line together, just sideways. Okay, it's not it's not going down, it's not going up, and uh, the histogram bars right here, uh, the very very small and just sideways. So we're sideways trading, and take a look here. Uh, these little green histo bars below the zero level, okay, below zero, uh, we're still in a slightly downtrending um, market, although it's not long-term trending. So, um, so again, just sideways, okay. When the little, when you see the little histo bars, we're uh, in a sideways market, okay. Consolidating, basically, it's another word for going sideways when when price is consolidating and um, uh, somebody's accumulating uh, and it looks like it possibly could be the uh, bulls. Uh, bulls are represented by the buyers, right? So uh, it does look like price could, could break out above this level right there. Okay, now next we get on to um, U.S. Japanese Yen. And last week, this was one of the better pairs to trade. I had a buy recommendation, aggressive buy above 113.24. Okay, 113.24. And uh, um, that was right about, about there. So you see, um, I had an aggressive buy above there. So you would have made these pips right here. That was good for by holding on just to the uh, for, uh, the end of the day. Once you got in, that would, was good for 30 pips. Then holding on to the next day, good for another 19 pips. So total of approximately 30, uh, 49, 49, 50 pips. Okay, that was last week. Now for this week, I have an aggressive buy above 113.74, right? See this level right there? Okay, the A stands for aggressive. That's this is for aggressive buyers. A stands for aggressive, and this level here above one fourteen twenty six is for conservative buyers looking, who, you know, who are more conservative, looking for more clues, uh, more price action clues to see whether uh, it would be wise and prudent to go uh, to take a buy trade. But anyways, right now uh, we have green above blue green above blue so we are in an uptrending pattern um we are slightly going sideways again take a look right here so you know price is down up down up or consolidating sideways there okay looking for a breakout again the aggressive trader looks for a breakout above 113.74 the conservative trader above here and uh to the downside oh well, let's not forget uh, some of us traders who are always looking for reversals and counter trend moves, then you could be looking for sells below 112.73. Okay, so this is what is happening with the US Japanese yen. Let me clean that up and let's go to the next chart. After US JPY, we have Euro, British pound. There's no real trade setups last week, and again, here uh, you can see. We're kind of in a sideways. I've got my resistance zone here in this uh, rectangle. So I'd be only looking at buys above 0.8936 and sells below 0.8805. Okay, so that's for the Euro British pound. Let's go to the next one. How about the Euro JPY? Again, last week, no real trade setups. And you can see why we're kind of just consolidating see most of the pairs most of the currency pairs are all consolidating we are now waiting for the next big move and um, here we we still have a little bit of pink below blue so uh, the conservative trader would be looking for sells below 127.78 uh, however um, 
the uh, the aggressive buyers or bulls would be looking for buy or breakout above 130.06. Right now, I'm kind of favoring the downside, so uh, that's the level I will be keeping my eye on. Okay, so let's take that off and let's get on to the euro audi euro audi was our biggest mover last week for total of 60 70 80 uh, about 95 pips and i had a sell you can take a look at my last week's video guys last week i i had a recommendation sell below 156.47 uh 156 um yep yeah, sell below 156.47 which was right about there see so getting in there uh on the first day the end of the first day um uh, you would have made 25 pips but then holding on to the second day see with this candle right here this wednesday's candle okay you would have made an extra 66 pips right there so this was the big winner of um last week and for this week i see some more downside movement i would be looking at sales below one 5464 and buys aggressive well this is an aggressive sell actually i don't have any buys for buys you'd be you'd have to wait for price to come up to here for you even to look at a buy but i have another uh, aggressive uh this is the conservative uh, sell but you can wait for price to come up again a little bit and then down again and look for on the rebound look for sells below 155 56 perhaps a little bit of an earlier entry or you can always look at an h4 chart like a four hour chart okay let's take that off and let's go on to our last pair and that is the good old british pound japanese yen you can see here um let's take a look here what do we have uh, again, we are in a, uh, we're looking basically for sells. Okay. Price could come down a little bit further and then bounce higher again. So we are in a consolidation sideways. Consolidating price is really just, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down, not really going anywhere. Uh, so you'd, you'd need a little bit more confirmation as to, as to, uh, give you a better idea of what you want to do. Aggressive sell below 144.16, this level right there. The conservative sell, wait for price to come all the way down below here, below 143.46. And then of course, to the upside, uh, conservative buy above 145.94. Okay. So, um, you know, price is just going sideways. I, I you know, I, I don't see much happening for this pair. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, Brexit news, um, and uncertainty with the Brexit deal with the Euro, um, uh, so that's what, that's the reason for this. And there's going to be more uncertainty as, um, the time goes on. They've got to get the deal done by March, I believe. Okay. So let's just, um, remove that. And finally, let's talk about really quickly next week next week i'm gonna do a little surprise video perhaps on this course and how the charts work and so stay tuned to that it's gonna be a real treat also gonna give you a chance to win the course free of charge okay so give you a chance to win the course and and perhaps some other prizes again don't forget to click on the subscribe and the like buttons. You've got to tell me, give me feedback. Uh, even send me some con, uh, some comments on how do you like my weekly videos. And, uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends. So for more information on anything I'm doing or my charts, the easy read charts or my new course or anything, uh, send me an email with your first name to Martin, my name's Martin, M-S-K-Y-J-007 at gmail.com. Hey guys, take care, happy trading, be careful, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.